Hi, welcome to the second tutorial video for our Madeline Hurdy Gurdy. This time we're going to talk about the initial setup of the instrument. Let's get started. We're going to open up the lid of the Hurdy Gurdy, which is right on top. As we look down inside, we're going to see, among other things, the wheel. So this tutorial starts with the number one rule of the Hurdy Gurdy, and that is don't touch the rim of the wheel. Fingerprints and oils from the hands or other sources will contaminate it and cause it to not take rosin, just like a violin bow. So better to avoid that. Any other part of the instrument's fair game. Just avoid the rim of the wheel. Next, we're going to set up the note guide so it'll be easier to navigate which button is which note on the instrument. Find your lesson book and open to the very center page of the book. It should naturally want to fall open, so this will be easy. On the bottom left corner of this page, you'll see some directions. That's what we're going to go through right now. Now we're going to gently remove this whole page from the book. Just tear it out gently along the binding. It should come out pretty easily, leaving the other pages intact. If you're not comfortable with that, you can make a photocopy of it and do that instead. Now we're going to figure out which rectangle you need for your instrument. The way you find out, look on page 10 and page 12 of the book. You will find tuning charts for this instrument. Whichever one is highlighted at the top of the page is the tuning for your specific instrument. Cut out the long skinny rectangle for that tuning. The final step, we're going to tape it to the instrument. Find the side of the instrument with the logo on it and then you will see little black dots inlaid among some of the button shafts. Try to line up the note strip so that the dots on the note strip line up with the inlaid dots on the instrument. Now if it bugs you to have this on here, don't worry, you can remove it later. This is just while you get to know the instrument. Now it's time to install the handle on the end of the instrument. Find the end of the instrument where the axle sticks out. There's no handle on it at the moment. And find your handle and screw it right onto the end there. This can also be reversed for removing the handle. One trick to make it a little easier is with your free hand, your left hand, to grab the wheel by the sides to steady it while you attach the handle. I mentioned grab it by the sides because, to reiterate, we want to avoid touching the rim of the wheel. The final step in this video, we're going to go ahead and attach a guitar strap. If you look at each end of the instrument, you'll see the strap buttons built in there. Just take the strap and go ahead and attach it to each of the strap buttons. Adjust the length of the strap and you are good to go. That concludes this video. Thanks for joining. Happy playing!